All right, folks, welcome to the TR Schools TV Game of the Week presented by the TRA. I'm Kessie Kenerkowski alongside my broadcast partner, Tyler Copen. And, Tyler, we've got Tom's River South and Tom's River East here in a late-season clash rivalry game. What are you expecting here tonight? Uh, yeah, I'm expecting a great game. You know, two rivals here, both not having the greatest season, but, you know, two bad teams can make a great team. Great, make a great game so let's see how they do this evening and hopefully we get a good matchup here yeah we get you know again rivalries obviously are big you know that playing you know on the baseball side between south and east it's always a big thing here basketball wise both teams trying to stay in that you know race when it comes to power points at the end of the season you know times over south a group three team they're slated at number 14 and then times over east they're right on that 16 line in group four yeah, they're just right on that edge. They want to solidify that and get a win here. South's trying to play a little spoiler and spoil those East chances, but let's see how this game turns out here tonight. Should be a good one. Absolutely, as we get the opening uh, introduction of the lineups for both squads. Of course, we saw Toms River South play Toms River North tough for a half, but then that second half, the superiority of North was just evident. North just dominated that second half. East kept it close in the first half, tied it up, took the lead at one point, but North with just their power, Micah Ford, Delaney Hyde, uh, just all that power. Jeremiah Pruitt just defensively getting the rebounds off missed shots and everything. They're just too powerful, and East can handle it. Here we go. Tip one by Times over East. That's going to be Jacob Mathis controlling it for the Raiders. Flips it over to Vargas as Times River South starting in a little 2-3 zone. Yeah, South starting out with the zone here. Wouldn't be surprised if they switch to the man later on in the game if the zone doesn't work out for them. Mathis can't get it to go, and rebound wrestled away by Senek, number 21. Senek, great job using the power there to get that board. Just rip it away from the defender. Absolutely. And, you know, one of the things you probably see, too, with two teams here that are, you know, building for the future as well is you're going to see a lot of new names tonight. Yeah, the new names. The, you're going to see the young guys here trying to, like you said, build for the future, just trying to get the all the underclassmen, like the sophomores and then the one freshman that South has. There's a turnover by South right there. Got to be better with that. Yeah, Pearson was trying to find Barkley again and, you know, Barkley's had a heck of a season. Yeah, Barkley, their leading scorer right now. He's a great three-point shooter from the outside. Small, lefty kid. Can really just, just a leader on this team, and he's a great player overall. As he's trying to work the ball around the outside, find an opening in the middle as they've got Russell running baseline. Three-pointer over the top of it. McKelvey, no good. Pearson with a rebound. Pearson, great job just sticking with it. We know South isn't the greatest with defensive rebounds as we've seen against North, but let's see how they do here tonight. As that time, Jones missed a wide open layup. East running with it on the other side. If you're South, you need to make those open layups. You need to make those contested shots. Nothing's going to come free to you, so those layups have to be made here tonight. Yeah, nice job by McKelvey getting that one as Vargas found him the assist leader for the bucket. Inside out game, Pearson answers with a three. Rob Pearson, great job there. The soft, or sorry, the junior with the three pointer, splashing it down the big man. Heck of a sidestep there by Russell to put East back ahead 4-3. Great job by Russell there, getting around the defense, getting a little shifty for the layup. Yeah, last time these two teams played, Russell had 20 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists. Russell was just electric that game. South really couldn't stop him at all. But let's see if he can do it again here tonight. He's going more to a man look as there's a three-pointer there from 21, Senek. Great job by Senek here. Getting the start. Hasn't seen the court much this year, but just great job by him overall. Let's see if he can keep it going here tonight. Yeah, first matchup South had just five three-pointers the whole game, already with two, and we're only a little over two and a half gone by in the first quarter. Yeah, South's trying to really solidify that perimeter shot so that the defense expands out and later in the game they can get those drives in and get those layups. Inside, Mathis pulls up, gets the shooter's roll. 
So East here, three buckets, three different scores. East is really just trying to get the ball inside right now. They're trying to do the opposite of South. They're trying to get those layups, and they're really trying to share the ball around. South's just trying to shoot the three ball right now and trying to open up that defense. Johnson no good on the layup. Russell leading it across, doesn't have numbers. Attacking, dishes out, scores zone for three from the short corner. He gets it to go. Great job by Russell there, driving in, faking the pass. Fine, dishing it out to score zone in the corner, and then score zone just finishing. Jones with a hard take, gets the bucket to go and draws the foul against Vargas. Great job by Jones there, really just fighting through the contact and getting able, being able to get that bucket to go. You know, early on in this one, you think, hey, you know, two teams losing records. They're not playing like two teams that have losing records. Yeah, they're really making their shots right now, and they're really making it look like Gonna their teams with winning records. Yeah, lane violation there against East, so it'll be a, another opportunity for Jones back here at the free throw line. Trying to tie it up at nine if he gets this one to go. And the retake is good. If only we could get a second take on these games, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, basketball players get mulligans. Maybe announcers should, too. <laughs> Where's Happy Gilmore? Where is he? Three-pointer from Scorzone. Second one of the night. Two in a row for Steven Scorzone. Great job by Scorzone. He's got the high hand right now. Two for two from the three-point line. Let's see if he can keep it going. Yeah, Scorzone, he was hot against South in the first matchup. Had five three-pointers in that one, and we get a travel from South. Good defense by East. Defense is really stepping up and solidifying on the outside right now. Not letting South shoot any threes, and South really just struggling right now. Let's see if East can capitalize off the South turnover. Mathis across there to score zone. Good closeout by Barkley. Vargas wide open. That one's short, and Senek gets the rebound. Great job by Senek there, the strong hands getting the defensive rebound. We know South's not the best with that, as we saw in the South-North game. Let's see if they can really fix that up. Stolen away by Vargas. Russell takes it, and he could have seen that one coming a mile away on that one. Yeah. Got a little excited. Yeah, it looked like he had a little bit of happy feet there. Gambaroni checking in the ball game, the freshman for Toms of South. He's at, number 15. As you said before, we were going to see the young guys here today. Gambaroni, the freshman, getting some playing time early in this game. Coming up on the three minute mark here in the first quarter, Toms of East holding a 12 9 advantage. Pearson pulls up, that one's short. Oh. That's an interesting call. What do you think on that one? I mean, Gambaroni stayed in bounds, <laughs> jumped out, got the tip off Vargas. So that's a great job by Grant Gambaroni off the miss. Vargas, a little lackadaisical, just really capitalizing. Yeah, that's a, that's a tough play. As South gets another possession off of that one. Gambaroni on Russell. And they're going to call a carry on that. Looked like a little reach in from Russell there, but they called Gambaroni on the carry. Yeah, so you got, you know, two ends of the equation there. You got Russell, the senior, who's definitely the leader of this Raiders offensive attack. And then you got Gambaroni, who could be a leader of the future for the Indians. Yeah, 100%. Gambaroni, great player now. We see him getting playing time now. We see him getting on the court. And we did see that in the North game, too. For his own can't miss here in this first quarter. Third three. Yeah, he's on fire right now. He's got the hot hand right now. If I'm East, I'm getting the ball to him on the outside. So on pregame, he was amped up. And Vargas almost with a steal. Pearson tracks it down. Three-pointer to answer from Barkley, and he gets it. Just Great. what South needed. Great job by Barkley there, right with the answer, like you said. Getting it to their leading scorer. The lefty, Barkley, sinks it for three. 15-12 ball game, two-minute mark. Here in the first as McKelvey dribbles it towards the south bench. Vargas from straight away, he gets it to go. 
Vargas from deep, left him open. He took the shot, sank it. South's got to cover that up if they want a chance in this game. Barkley to get a second one in a row. That one long. Saved by Jones. Russell gets it, though. An 18-12 advantage for East looking to add to it. Vargas pulls up. Off glass. And Coach Van Arminio, he's seen enough of threes go, go in. He's calling time out here. This East team is hot from the outside right now. Really just sinking the three-pointer. You got Vargas two, uh, two for three right now. And then we got Scorson three for three right now. It's unlike their free throw shooting, as we know. <laughs> They're not the greatest free throw shooters. But they can certainly shoot the three ball. Yeah, they are putting us up here. And you can tell right now why they had... You know, Times River North on the ropes on Friday night, a game in which Times River North had a lead. They blew it and then came back here late with some free throws to win the game 53-52. East playing like a pretty determined basketball team. East really wants that last spot uh, with their power points. They really want to solidify a win here. They really want to show up and show out right now, and they're not letting South play spoiler. Yeah, we're going to get a couple subs coming in the game out of that timeout, too. We'll get number 12, Jackson Markovich, and number 15, TR Schools TV's very own, Greg Mazzo. Nice defensive intensity here from East. Jones gets by and gets it to go. So a hard-earned bucket for Jones. Great job by Jones there, getting a little shifty, getting inside through the contact. And finishing with two. Vargas dribbling around it. Gets inside to Greg. Flips it up and in is McKelvey. Great job by East there. Mazzo driving in, dishing it out. And then McKelvey just finishing. Good pass there from Pearson into Jones. Jones is really carrying times of her south right now. Yeah, Jones, junior leader on this team. Really showing why he should be in that starting lineup. He's been a starter since his sophomore year, and he's really proven it right now. Mazzo driving in. Up and under. Can't get it to go. McKelvey with the rebound. He gets it to go off glass. East just can't miss right now. Yeah, East is really hot. They got the shooter's touch right now, whether it's layups or shots from the outside. Jones, can he answer? No. Johnson, got to get one up. They don't get a shot up. And so a pretty fast-paced first quarter and one with a lot of scoring as the teams combined for 41 in that first frame. Times are East up 25-16 on their home court. East is really just showing out right now. They can't miss a shot for anything right now. Coach Arminio from South is really heated right now. they got to be better on defense, and they really got to make their shots on offense. Granted, they're, I think, they're three for five from the outside right now. And they're really just, they're shooting well, but East is shooting better. Yeah, I mean, a situation where times are East, you know, they've been very distributive with the basketball. Five different scorers, you know, ranging from Vargas and score zone from beyond the arc. And then you see there McKelvey getting inside offensive rebound on that last uh, possession and getting it up and in. Yeah, they're really going at South Achilles Hill, which is defensive rebounding. So they're taking advantage of that. And just getting those offensive boards, like you said, and really just capitalizing off of it. Yeah, if you almost have to think Tom's over south here in the second quarter. They have to, you know, maybe slow things down a little bit, get east out of rhythm. Yeah, south's just got to play their pace, got to play their game in order to just mess with this east team. That's just hot all around right now, hot on defense, hot on offense. They just cannot be stopped right now. So coming out for the second quarter, It'll be Scorzon, McKelvey, Markovich, Mazzo, and Mathis for Times of East. And for South, we've got Jones and Johnson and Barkley, Gambaroni, and Pearson. South with the basketball. Good cross court pass. Nice save there by Barkley. Johnson's got to get that pass slower. Barkley, little guy getting up. He's not Aaron Judge. Gambaroni driving baseline, flips it up. Stolen away by Markovich. He just read the passing lane on that one. 
Great job by Markovic there. Looked like a DB going to pick off Joe Burrow. I want short rebound Johnson. Gambroni with an opportunity. Crosses up Greg. Corner, Barkley. Good three from the corner in transition. Great job by Gambaroni there being able to drive in, fake the shot, dish it out to Barkley, and then Barkley, as we know, he's great with that, just sinking the three-pointer. Devis it down to six for Toms over South. McKelvey driving in off glass. He's got eight tonight. Great job by McKelvey there, just going in, doing what he does best, just driving to the basket and getting two. Got a foul there against Scorzon. His first team second. As Russell come back in for Tom's of East. South, I don't know if you've noticed, but South hasn't put any seniors into this game yet. They've only had juniors, sophomores, and then the one freshman, Gambaroni. So like you said, a young game. They're going young today. You're seeing something going there. And that time Jones and Barkley not on the same page. But, you know, that's almost something you look at, too, like for Toms of East, they've got, you know, a lot of guys who are going to be graduating. But for Toms of South, they've got a lot of young guys where they get the experience now. Who knows what they'll be next season? Yeah, South really just, they're trying to get that experience, try to get that late season kind of, like you said, experience and just trying to really prepare them for next season. Russell, I don't know if he knew where he was there. Could have turned around and put up a nice, easy layup. Lost to Toms over South. Jones with a three. In and out. Batted around. Greg Mazzo with the rebound. Jones got an unlucky bounce there. Couldn't get it to fall. And then Mazzo with a great defensive rebound there. Hands it over to Russell. Russell driving in. Stripped away by Jones. Jones leading the fast break. Inside. Foul. Can't get the bucket. And they're going to call that foul. I think on Markovich. Great job by Jones there going up. It looks like they called the foul on the ground there, so no shot, even if it went in, wouldn't have counted. It's probably a win for East here because Jones is a pretty good free throw shooter. Yeah, Jones is probably one of their bet one of South's best free throw shooters, and you definitely don't want to send him or Barkley to the line. Having Dano there, 14. Another youngster, like you were saying, sophomore in the game. He drives in on McKelvey, picks up his dribble, pulls up from the free throw line. Shot off, Russell with a big rebound. Russell getting up there. Really putting his height out there, showing why he should be getting that rebound. You know, he played a couple years ago on the eighth grade team at Intermediate East. And, you know, you picture eighth grader, you know, tall and lanky. He's really been built up over the last couple years, and you're seeing that aggressiveness on both sides of the ball. Yeah, he's really just going after the ball, just really trying to swallow it up, get those boards, and then score the points for his team. A little under five minutes remaining here in the first half. Times have reached up 27-19 as Vargas checks back in the game. Turnover, Barkley over to Jones, and Jones keeps getting those layups, keeping South in the ball game. Yeah, great job by Barkley there. A little fake, a little head fake going up for the shot, but then dished it off to Jones. Got Vargas to jump, but then Vargas comes back with a three-pointer right there. Got to give him a little bit of, you know, a little jazz on that one. He stepped inside. It was only a two. Come on. Oh. I've been used to so many three-pointers <laughs> right now. As McKelvey brings it across, he's looking for somebody to get it to. Flips it over to Russell. He's setting up their offense. Looks like a high horn set there. Tried to get in McKelvey, stolen away. Up to Jones. Jones doesn't get the layup as Vargas rejects it from the side. Uh, Vendonado should have kept that one and gone straight up with it and not try to dish it off to Jones there. Vendonado had the better angle in my opinion, but maybe he thought passing it to Jones, one of their leading scorers was better. Russell off glass, too easy there, too easy. Russell really just being aggressive right now, both on offense and defense, really showing why he's the leading scorer and the leader of this team. Lead back up to 10. Inside, nice layup there by Senek. 
keep going. Quick foul there on Avendano. As we get a lot of subs coming in here for Toms River South. Finally get a senior in there. They get Francis in the ball game. Yeah. Number two. Finally. Only took him a solid 13 minutes. <laughs> you know, I thought you can't blame, you know, young coach Vin Arminio. Trying to see what he's got on his bench and trying to see what those young guys can do. He, he's had a hard time trying to find a combination that works this season. He's really just trying to, I don't want to say he knows that this is kind of like the end of the season, but the clock's winding down, not the best record, so he's just trying to give those youngsters and the underclassmen the experience right now. Inside, good drive there. Tough drive by Francis, and he'll earn a trip to the free throw line. Great job by Francis. Let's see. We know the two great free throw shooters for South, Jones and Barkley. Let's see how Francis can do now. Gets the first there. They're going to call that one on Russell. His first team's fourth. Second one, long rebound. Vargas tracks it down. Francis couldn't get that one to fall, but one for two, 50%. That's very good in baseball, I know. <laughs> Tough shot by Mathis. One and done possession for East. As South, they've got 230 remaining, down by seven in this first half. Ben Arminio going to call a timeout here, talk it over. As his team, you know, the onslaught of East early on, they've weathered that storm, still in this ballgame. Yeah, South's just hanging around, even with East just coming out to a hot start. They've really kind of slowed down East tempo, haven't really got been able to shoot that outside shot. And they've just been trying to drive it and get those layups. But South's been answering. They've been coming back, and they've been answering with all their points. So let's see if South can really just overthrow East right now. Yeah, you never know. Actually, funny thing is all these threes going in reminds me of back in the day. You don't remember this when the middle schools used to be only 7th and 8th grade here in Times River. You used to have 5th and 6th grade elementary school basketball where all the elementary schools used to play each other. And I remember I went to Hooper Avenue and Vin Arminio went to uh, East Dover. And he killed us with threes. I mean, he had to have had like five or six threes in a ball game. Like, he just was shooting it from outside like you wouldn't believe. I remember our coach here being like, can anybody guard this guy? Like, you know. Hey, so just, he definitely just has the jump, prowess. Just, even if you got to foul him. <laughs> we probably would have been better off, you know. But, yeah, he definitely he knows his stuff here. And, you know, Coach DeRiggy on the other side here, very qualified coach as well. Two younger guys trying to find their way with their programs. You know, Coach Caswell's got his, you know, stuff down. He was a college coach as well, so, you know, he walked into a pretty good situation at times over North. These guys trying to build something here you at these say, two schools. You could say Coach Caswell got the experience from his father-in-law, Coach Frank. Yeah, yeah. As that one's out of bounds off of Times River South, East with the ball. A little over two minutes to work with. Good roll there. Soren Wilson, number 20 in the game for the first time. Nice closeout on score zone. We'll get a hold underneath against Times River South. It'll be on Francis. Francis got a little handsy there. It's only South's second foul and his first, so South's looking good right now. Let's see if they can keep a little safe ball going and not foul any, anyone. He's here being very patient with the basketball, passing up a couple of open shots there. As Mathis pulls up inside that defense, Shot off. Now the freshman will bring it across to set it up. Yeah. 
Almost stolen away by Scorzone. He jumped on it. Floater. How about that floater there by Gambaroni? That looks pretty sweet to me. A little shot fake went in with a little touch at the end. Wilson long score zone with the rebound. Can't get it to go. But man on the spot there earns a trip to the free throw line. Francis with a little push there. Gets score zone to the line. Let's see how this East team does at the free throw line now. That's the first one to go. It's an East team, and then the first matchup was just three for seven from the free throw line. And all season, you know, they've had a lot of close games, and I know we were talking with our producer, Chip Phillips, before the game. All those close games that they missed, you know, half their free throws, you make a couple more, you have more wins on the stat sheet. Yeah. It really just, that's what's, that's what's been hurting them the most, the free throws. And as we saw, they missed a solid seven in the first half against North. And late in the game, they were down by seven. So if they make those seven, it's a tie game then. Back up to a seven-point lead, 33-26, coming up on 30 seconds left in quarter number two. Gambaroni going open lane, gets fouled by Fargus. They'll count the bucket and a chance for a three-point play here for the freshman. Great job by Gambaroni. They're really fighting through the contact. The freshman getting the and one to fall. So that'll be the second one on Manny. One free throw coming up here for Shane Gambaroni. Five foot eight freshman. Can't get it to go. Ball batted around. Mathis with the rebound. So a 33 28 advantage East. As Scorzone brings it to a corner. Mathis gets it inside. Contact. Can't get the bucket to go. But with 14 seconds, he'll go to the free throw line. He yeah, really drove in and got the contact off of Johnson there. Johnson charged with the foul. Got a couple subs. We got Pearson, Jones, and Barkley coming in for South now after this free throw. As he gets free throw number one to go down. Those subs come in, as you were saying there, Tyler. Markovich also comes in for Tom's over East. Number 12. Second one rattles in and out. Let's see Six. what play South draws up. Looks like they're going to hold. Six seconds left. Nice cut inside. Can't get it to go. Second one, no good as well. Batted around. Missed opportunity for South there to try to cut into that deficit. But for as well as Tom Reese played, especially shooting from the outside with those five threes, just a 34-28 advantage Raiders. Yeah, East was really firing on, on all cylinders in that first quarter, but South really slowed him down, stepped up defensively. Let's see if South can keep that defensive standpoint going and keep it looks like the momentum's with South right now, so let's see if they can keep that going too. Let's see if East, East can step back up and really take charge of this game again. You know, say when we come out of the, the halftime here, which team do you think, Times over South or Times over East, has to make more of a statement coming out of halftime? I think South has to make more of a statement because we know what East can do in the second half, but we really have seen South really just crumble in that sec and the second half games that we've covered for them and they really haven't prevailed at all. They've really just kind of shut down and haven't really been able to do anything in the games we've seen. Yep. And so we'll take a break here on TR Schools TV. We'll be back with the second half between the Raiders and Indians in just a moment. So stick around.
All right, folks, welcome back to the TR Schools TV Game of the Week presented by the TRA. Casey Kenerkowski, Tyler Copen back with us. And Tyler, you know, we look at this game. Tom's Reese was shooting the ball lights out. And then Tom's River South fought their way back, fought their way back. Only down six as we enter quarter three. Yeah, South's really chipping away right now. They're just taking their baby steps, climbing back right now. They're just trying to, like I said, chipping away just points by points at a time, getting the stop, going down and scoring. And then let's see if they can really just continue that and capitalize off of it. Yeah, I mean, you look at the kind of leading scorers. I know, you know, Barkley's the one side, and then you got Times of Reese, you got Russell. Russell actually not the big scorer tonight. He only has four. The big scorers score of course, zone from outside. And then McKelvey and Vargas inside and outside doing jobs for uh, Times of East. Yeah, they're just, uh, they got, East has a bunch of scores right now, and so does South. They're just really facilitating the ball around and really just trying to get everybody in on the score fest right now. Let's see how East can do right now, if they can keep it going, if they can get their mo back up and really just put this game in the books. It'll be Tom Zuri starting with the basketball. And South going to a little bit of a change. You're going to a man-to-man. -man. You like that change? I mean, I called it earlier in the game. I said I wouldn't be surprised if they go man-to-man -man in the first quarter. They go man. They get a quick possession for Tom Zuri. And they're in and out. Barkley thought about it, let him go by, gives it inside, gets it back out. Bad pass, but he still gets a shot to go. Cuts the deficit in half. Barkley just electric right now. He's, Barkley has three threes right now. Let's see if he can keep it going right now. Score zone to answer that one long. Russell taps out the rebound. And they're going to keep it here with Tom's of Reese. Great job by Barkley. Splashing the three, getting it down to a one possession game. Let's see how East can answer on this drive. Driving in is Russell, no call. I'm surprised they didn't call an offensive on that one. Yeah, it looked like Pearson was straight up and looked like he took the charge, but then I couldn't tell who came in. It might have been Gambaroni with that foul. Reached in, caught Russell, and now Russell's at the line. Russell gets the first one to go. And this season, kind of about 50% free throw shooter or so. If it were baseball, like I said, that'd be beautiful. <laughs> You'd be an all-star. <laughs> Scores on with a rebound, then he throws it away. Pearson tracks it down, flips it over to Barkley. Yeah, Scorzone knew that one. As soon as he passed it, he goes, oh, my fault. Yeah, I was say, great job of Vargas, though, on that defensive pressure because Jones had Barkley wide open. As Barkley gives it to Jones, who can't finish, Vargas tracks down a rebound. He's driving in, pulls it back out. Now he's going to go baseline, goes up off glass, and scores. Great job by Vargas there, doing it himself. Going baseline to baseline, getting the two. He's got 10 tonight. Gets a lead back up to six. Barkley, long three, no good. Out of bounds, stays with Toms over South. Russell and Vargas there, a little confusion. Don't worry, guys, you're on the same team. <laughs> you know, Sharon is Karen, too. <laughs> Gambaroni back out to Barkley. He gets a running start inside, corner. Jumper good by Jones. Great job by Barkley there. Driving in, finding Jones wide open, and then making the nice short jumper. McKelvey inside, picks up his dribble, back door cut, scores zone. Flips it up top, intercepted by Jones. Jones on Mathis, sidesteps him. Can't get the basket to go, but he goes back to the free throw line. Great so a lot job. of life here with South. Yeah, great job by Jones there. He's really just showing out right now. He wants to play a little spoiler here. He doesn't want, want to let this rival team get those power points. 
Yeah, both teams there, as we mentioned, they're fighting for their lives on the back end of those group PowerPoint rankings, trying to stay in the top 16. And, you know, a win here tonight could go a long way to solidifying their berths in the States. Loss means there's going to be some work to do in the last week and a half or so of the season. So Jones makes one of two. East lead cut down to three, 37-34. Freshman playing tight defense right now on Vargas, not letting him get any shots up. Mathis inside, no good. Russell with the offensive rebound. He dribbles it out. Now he's going to try to take him. Pulls up. Textbook. Right from the elbow. There is East exploiting South's weakness right there, defensive rebounding. Just went up, got the offensive board, and then got the points. Jones to Barkley. Doesn't get it to go, but Jones gets the offensive rebound. Back to him, launches. That one goes. So East was on fire in the first half from beyond the arc. Barkley for South on fire in the second. Yeah, Barkley two for three right now in this second half from outside the arc. Let's see if he can keep McKelvey it going. McKelvey with the answer. Great job by McKelvey there. Answering right back with the three of his own. Yeah, that's a big time shot, you know. A lot of times when you're watching these games, right, Tyler, it's you know, a situation where you see, okay, a you know, team wins by one or a team wins by ten, but unless you physically see the game like you see it here on TR Schools TV, you don't really know the tail of the tape. And this game has gone back and forth all night. Yeah, it's really just been shot for shot from both sides. Going from one possession, two possession, one possession. I wouldn't be surprised if we get a good one right down to the finish tonight. Yeah, every time we thought Tom's River South was going to get right back in the game, East with an answer just like that McKelvey three. But again, you know, part of that too is the experience, right? McKelvey being a senior and Tom's River South playing a lot of these younger guys, big shots, big situations, you go with your seniors. Yeah, you would really expect East to just have an overall advantage with the endurance and, like you said, the experience of the seniors right now and the upperclassmen. But South is really staying in there with those young guys right now. And so coming out of that South timeout, here at the 441 mark of the third quarter, East lead back up to five after the McKelvey three. A little 1 2 2 press from the Raiders. Jones inside, kicks it out. Good close out. And we get a little bit too much locomotion there. Like I said before, a little happy feet there from the freshman Gambaroni, a little anxious to get that pass off. And now South going to a little bit of a unique defense here. Almost looks like they're trying to get a trapping 3-2. Flying to the basketball. Russell inside, dropping it down low. McKelvey boards his way into it. I think he was trying to go for Vargas, but McKelvey's like, nope, I got it. McKelvey just taking it on his own hands. Just do it himself. <laughs> a little selfishness, but you know that's okay sometimes. McKelvey's up to 13 points on the night as Scorzon picks up his second foul. As Jason here, the, the crazy part is here, he's a junior, so he's got one more year. As Pearson hits a timely three for Toms over South. Yeah, great job there by Pearson. You know, I guess the one knock on him, right, is the fact that he's had a little bit of an up and down season. Coming to play here, though, as he gets the big rebound there, starts the fast break for South as Barkley has it, closed out nicely by Vargas. Can he get another one? Long rebound, out of bounds. Russell almost takes out Coach Arminio on the other side. Greg Mazzo checking back in the ball game for Russell. So he'll get a little bit of a spell here at the three-minute mark. 
Russell trying to get back at the old East coach Arminio right there. You know, as a coach, you got to have your head on a swivel. Got to be ready for anything. <laughs> Vargas left in, almost got the finger roll. And South, as they bring it across here, down just four late here in the third quarter. Scores on, steals it away. Rips it over to Greg. Two points. Great job by East there, really capitalizing off the South mistakes. Travel there, a mistake on Toms of her South as Jones had to come down with that quickly in turn. Couldn't afford to put the ball on the ground though before he did. A little bit of a high pass there from Barkley to Jones, and Jones just couldn't get his footing down. He needed to do a little toe tap just like from football there. You know, it seems like every time Times River South gets within three or four, East always has that answer. Let's see if South can get a defensive stop here to help them get back in the ball game. McKelvey underneath, fouled. I think they're going to get Johnson coming across because he had his hands down. A little bit of a questionable call there in my opinion. Looked like Johnson was straight up, maybe came down a little bit. Ref saw a foul. We got McKelvey at the line now. And he'll go to the line, and McKelvey's about a 55% free throw shooter on the season. He makes the first. In warm-ups, though, he looked pretty hot. Yeah, McKelvey really just overall great player for this team right now. He's leading him in scoring tonight. Looks to be his 15th point right now. He's so. done it everywhere. He's got a three. He's got the free throw line. Offensive rebound, defensive rebounding. He's just doing it all today. East lead back up to eight, 48 to 40, with 140 remaining in the third quarter. Good two-man game as rejected away. So it looked like an opportunity for an easy layup. Good defense by Tom Zavarist. Mazzo over to McKelvey. Gets it again. Lead up to double digits, 50-40. East looks like they have the momentum right now. They're really pulling away from this game. Let's see if they can keep it going. Bat it away. Gambaroni gets it back, forces the shot though. And Markovic gets the rebound. Great job by East there, playing tight defense, forcing shots up. Let's see if they can capitalize on offense now. Kelby working inside, gets it to go. That's all size and all skill there. As McKelvey just keeps padding this lead, 52-40. McKelvey's just playing bully ball right now. Just like you said, all size, all skill, just going into the basket. And really showing why he's Could a great give and player. Go. Jones dropped it off. Gambaroni can't get the three to go. Gets his own rebound. About 20 seconds left. That's a long two as Mazzo gets the rebound and came down hard. Good to see him get up there. Yeah, it looked like a hard fall there from Mazzo. Thank God he's all right. So it'll be south ball with 14 seconds to work with. Driving it, pulls up short. Mazzo with the rebound. McKelvey loses the ball out of bounds. I think Greg was trying to get it over to him. Not sure on the angle. But South with another opportunity as they'll call timeout to draw something up. Let's see what Coach Arminio comes up with here trying to rebirth this South team. They were in the game early, but as we've seen in previous games, really just can't capitalize in, that sec in the second half, and they just start to fall apart. Yeah, starting to see that here from Times River South. They were only down by six at halftime. They had cut the lead down to three or four for Times River East, and then you saw McKelvey take over the game. He's up to 19 points on this one. And yeah, McKelvey's just... McKelvey's just been firing on all, on all cylinders today. 
couldn't ask for anything better from the junior. Great things for him to come the rest of this season and next year. So we've got six minutes. Or excuse me, six seconds left in this third quarter as South tries to inbound it long. Stolen away by Markovic. He's got four, he's got three, he's got two. He's got a layup. What a way to close the third quarter for the Raiders as Markovic steals it and puts it up off glass to make it a 14-point lead. Great job by Markovic there. Just really taking all the energy out of this South team, getting the steal, going in for the points, getting it up to a 14-point lead, like you said, just really capitalizing on everything right now. Yeah, so all we got this game starting to widen a bit the lead. Uh, looking at the uh, Twitterverse, um, Toms River North playing Southern tonight. Toms River North, of course, an opportunity to win a South. Uh, at the end of the first quarter, it's Toms River North holding a 13-8 lead. Uh, Micah Ford leading the way so far with them at six. But really, Southern, they said, uh, you know, two threes really keeping them in the game right now. Yeah, North just trying to get a win and solidify their dominant record right now. I believe they got Southern, Jackson, and North all at the top of the A-South right now. So let's see. That should be pretty interesting. Let's see how that shapes out to be. We will see her because if South loses that game, I got or excuse me, North loses that game, chance to see a situation where you've got a couple teams tying for A-South. You know, Southern obviously would play their way into it. Then you've got Jackson that's playing an overtime game right now. So, you know, a lot of things at the top. And then you see these two teams who, who put up a spirited fight in the bottom of A-South right now. Yeah, they, uh, the whole A-South is competitive, even when you got, like you said, two bottom teams like South and East really just showing heart and hustle. That's what basketball is about. Just got to put it out there every day, give it 110%. Now south, good job by Jones to get the ball there. Jump stop, over and across, doesn't want to be there. As Pearson tracks it down for South. A high weave, three-pointer off. And Greg knocking the ball around there. Markovic with it up top, batted away though. Good hands there by Avendano. A little bit of a little bit of a hectic scene that last body's going to the ground but Avendano slowing it down tipping it out of bounds stopping the east fast break. Hey, east in no rush here leading by 14. They work their offense around a bit as McKelvey drives in looks for the dish to Wilson corner up top good no look pass inside McKelvey gets two more McKelvey just doing a great job right now and has been this entire game couldn't ask for anything better up to 21 points south they need a bucket and fast Jones knocked away by Mazzo with a steal good hands in the passing lane Great job by Mazzo there. Just intercepting, deflecting the pass, making South turn the ball over. You know, I almost thought there for a second, Tyler, I almost thought he did the commentary when he was doing it, when he, when he stole it. I almost thought I heard it. We'll check with our producer, Chip Phillips, here. I don't know, maybe. Looked like, looked like he was saying, Mazzo with the interception. <laughs> As that one was knocked out of bounds by South, stays here with East. Inside, great pass by Vargas. Shows why he's the assist leader. And McKelvey scores yet again. I feel like we've seen him too much tonight. We've heard McKelvey's name. Up to 23 points on the night. In the first matchup, it was Russell with 20. Now McKelvey's got 23. As that was a circus shot. Greg getting the rebound. And you're right, Tyler. This is something that's plagued Toms River South all season. This idea of second-half games getting it away from them. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's they're just their endurance just goes right down the drain, and all their momentum is just nowhere to be found in the second half. And they've really showed it in the games that we've called this year. Yeah, the only positive I think for Coach are many of those that well, two positives really gets to see some of his younger guys what they have to offer. But two is the fact that these guys on the court they're still fighting. It's just they're not finding the basket. Yeah, they're really showing their heart out there. They're really putting everything they've got out there, giving oh, 100%, 110% all the time, and they're just trying their best, and like you said, they're just showing their heart. Yes. Jones will get another one from the free throw line. Gets the second one to go as well, so a 58-42 advantage with 5.30 remaining in the fourth quarter. Markovic brings it across easily. Wilson dribbles it back up, gets to the cutter, McKelvey. Mismatch, they try to double team him. He works his way inside and gets it to go. McKel Almost indefensible right now. Yeah, he's just he's moving like a freight train. He just cannot be stopped right now. Just like firing it all, on all cylinders defensively and just dishing out buckets everywhere he goes. Trying to get a give and go, nowhere near anything. Inside, can't get it to go. Rebound to him, nice outlet to Mazzo. Underneath, rejected away, and Barkley tracks it down. Great job by Pearson there. Mazzo underneath the basket, tried to get it to go, but Pearson rejected right back into the hardwood. They'll get Manny Vargas on the bump there as Scorzone will check back in for Soren Wilson. Barkley, that one deflected. Vargas got in there on that one and tipped it. For his own driving the baseline, Mazzo with the layup. Greg Mazzo's got four tonight. Good job by Scorsone and Mazzo there. Scorsone driving in, dishing it to Mazzo. Woo! A little nice. bit of a baby hook there from Gambaroni. Yeah, freshman here answering quickly. We've got a foul here against Tom's River South. That's on Barkley. Trying to get a quick double. He's doing a nice job of handling that pressure in the backcourt. McKelvey for three, why not? It's his night, folks. 28 on the night. Like you said, why not? McKelvey just dishing buckets everywhere right now. He can drive it, he can shoot it from the outside, he can make the free throws, He's just, he can just do it all. Three pointer, that one long. Gambaroni with a smooth jumper. 65-46. Gambaroni Scores really. Scores on. McKelvey, reverse layup. He's up to 30. Wow, McKelvey getting into the threes. Incredible. The junior really showing out tonight. Three-pointer in and out. McKelvey with the rebound. Folks, he's got 30 points, and there's still three minutes left in his ball game. Scores on driving in. Ooh, look at that. Everything but going down. Jones now leading the fast break. He goes inside, loses it, but loses it in the right spot. As he gets bat around, stays with South. That one was an interesting shot there by Barkley. Not sure what we would call it. He hung in the air for a while and got the bucket to go, though. Yeah, Barkley was able to get that one to fall. Right now I'm thinking McKelvey saying, Coach, let me get to 40. <laughs> I got it in me. I mean, you can't say enough about the kid because he's done it in all sorts of different facets. He's had three-pointers. He's had a lot of buckets underneath. We saw reverse layups. We saw... You know, him just being a physical presence, you know, along the glass and, you know, free throw line. 
everything you could want, a complete performance here by Jason McKelvin. He's just been doing everything tonight. Like you said, couldn't ask for anything better from the kid, and hopefully he can keep it going later into this year. Should get a lot of power points from this game. And then later into next year, next season, see if he can keep it going and really just solidify himself as one of the best players in the shore. Absolutely. The crazy part is, is that, you know, you look at Tom DeReese, we were saying early in the game they were so diverse when it came to who was scoring. Everybody was getting some touches. Everybody was getting an opportunity to score. And then McKelvey just took charge, especially in that third quarter and early fourth. He said the season of giving is over. <laughs> He'll do it himself. As McKelvey stays in along with Vargas and Mazzo and Markovic as he looks for that one. That's a three-pointer. Hits the top. Greg was in perfect spot there for that offensive rebound. Forget the rule about the top of the backboard. He just pointed at me and he said, I want that. <laughs> as Vargas gets an ovation from his teammates as he checks out of the game here at the 2.30 mark. He's had so many assists tonight. And yeah. defensive plays against some of the best scorers on South. Mazzo with a strong board. As first time tonight, Jack Hesline in the game. Gets it to go Markovic. Great job by Markovic there. A little floater with the touch going right in. Almost a floater on that side. Also in the game for East number two, Nate Gifford. Seeing his first action. He thought about it, drives in. Couldn't get it to go. Greg tried to tap it up. Nice play by Jones from in back. Good tough take. McKelvey with a rebound. And a timeout. By Coach DeRiggy here with 133 left. Team up 69-48. McKelvey's like, Coach, I could have had two more there. That was two more closer to 40. You know, he definitely, I mean, he had an opportunity there. As, uh, you know, Tom's a Reese, a good night when it comes to power points. They're holding on that 16 spot. You know, they got some teams up there, Shawnee, Atlantic Tech ahead of them. Gloucester Tech and Kingsway right on their on their trail. You think East is going to get in? I think after this performance tonight, they should. They've really showed out, especially in a rivalry game. They've showed who the better team was, and they showed that they deserve to be in. As Markovic brings it across here, as McKelvey's night will be finished as he gets to the 30 mark, as there's Taylor Davis, there's Taylor with a nice drive up to the basket, and he'll go to the free throw line. Also in the ball game, Nick Ferreira. Number 13. As Dalen gets the first one to go, he's a fan favorite here. As Markovic checks out of the ball game and coming in is Luke Mathis. Luke a sophomore. As Dalen gets a second one to go as well. 71-48. Times of East as we play out the final minute here. South put the young, the younger guys. Looks like they got Chase for Jimmy Alexander, Quinn Wells, Shane Gambaroni, and then Ethan Folsom out there. Quinn Wells with a three right there. Yeah, nice shot there by the kid. Taylor drives in, floater. Nice look there by Taylor. As we get a giveaway foul, to get Chris Endy in the ball game. As Coach Derigi empties his bench. And everybody in the ballgame, it's always good to see. 
trying to make this game a whole team effort. Getting everyone in, like you said. Stolen away. Mathis drives in and gets it to go. All Tom's of Reese tonight. As the Raiders play their crosstown rivals and come up with a huge victory in the power points as they beat Tom's River South 75-51, spearheaded by number 22, Jason McKelvey, who had 30 points, clearly the MVP of the game. Yeah, McKelvey just, like I said before, firing in all, on all cylinders, couldn't ask for anything better from him. He was just great tonight, and hopefully he can keep it going for the rest of the season. Yeah, Tom's River East, you know, you have to be very impressed with how well they played in all facets of the game. Yeah, it was McKelvey with the 30 points. Yeah, it was the outside shooting. But their rebounding has definitely improved on the season. And at the free throw line, they only missed two tonight. Yeah, that was just a great job all in all by East tonight. Really improving on the free throw line. And like you said, the outside shot, the defense, just everything stepped up tonight, and they just did amazing tonight. Yeah, seven three-pointers. Eight for 12 from the free throw line. Just a great performance for Coach Chirigi's squad as they get win number five on the season and begin to kind of get into this mode of February where they're going to play a couple games because they're not going to play in a short conference tournament. Same thing with Tom's River South. But they've got an opportunity. You almost feel like the momentum is on their side where maybe they get in that tournament. You never know. They'll maybe sneak off an upset. Yeah, they really got the mo right now. If they can keep the way they played this game going into next game, I wouldn't be surprised if they just pull off an upset, like you said. Absolutely. And if you're Thompson for South, you know, if you're Coach Arminio, what are you telling your squad? You played again, another good half of basketball, but how do you finish now towards the back end of the season? You just say keep your heads heads held high and never give up. You guys always give 110%. Your time will come. It may not be now, but it will come. Absolutely. And so, you know, Coach Sarigi and his team, they're going to have a lot to celebrate here tonight. As they look forward here down their schedule, they're going to play Barnegat later in the week, and then they've got some games against Keyport. And, you know, the game that I know Coach Dorigi had scheduled that I know Greg Mazzo was looking forward to and I know for a fact here our producer Chip Phillips always looks forward to as Freehold is going to play Tom's River East yep, at Freehold. So that's always a good one. Uh, update real quick on that Tom's River North game. It looks like North's starting to take control. They closed the first half on a 14-0 run so they're up 29-12 at the half. If they don't fall apart in the second half, which they've had an opportunity to a couple times, including against Tom's of Reese last week. Looks like Tom's of North's going to get another championship. Yeah, it looks like they'll hold on and move on to that championship, like you said. They really fell apart in that second half against the Brick Memorial game, the first game that we saw this season, but hopefully it's not a repeat of that. Absolutely, and you know, again, we keep mentioning the idea of these power points with these two teams. Tom's of South, do you think they sneak in the playoffs. They're listed at 14 right now. Do they hang on to that, you know, 14, 15, 16 seed, or do they get bumped out by somebody else? They're really going to have to show up and show out if they want to hold on to that 14 seed. They're really going to have to play their best basketball that they've played all season in order to make the playoffs. So yeah. we'll see. Hopefully not, and hopefully we get to see some playoff basketball from them, but you never know. Hey, Only time will tell. Hey, you never know. A lot of those young guys, though, played some big minutes here tonight for Coach Arminio. Again, Tom DeReest with a huge victory here at the home of the Raiders, 75-51. For our producer, Chip Phillips, for my broadcast partner, Tyler Copen, I'm Casey Kenerkowski saying so long from down Raider Way. We'll be back with the next TR Schools TV Game of the Week presented by the TRAA very soon. So make sure you keep watching. Good night, folks.